it, it looks like I was three hours late to, to the wedding. But uh, let me just explain this. I don't get told, none of us get told what time the wedding actually starts. So how can I be late for something that I don't even know what time it starts? So yeah, so it's not like I'm told, hey, Carolina, you're getting married at 2 p.m. and now it's 10. No, I have no clue. So in the morning, they come in, they take my phone away. I don't even know what time it is, uh, let alone what time the wedding actually starts. So I wasn't the one who planned the wedding or, or booked the, you know, the hair or the makeup for a certain time to align with the time that the wedding starts. So I have no clue what's going on. I'm just going with the flow. So, um, or location as well. I have no idea of the location that the, the wedding is supposed to be at. So they each, I was checked in the day before the wedding at an amazing five-star hotel um, in Double Bay. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm winning in life. I'm getting married in Double Bay. So, you know, for all I knew, the wedding was downstairs in Double Bay at the, in the hotel. Um, I was in, at the Intercontinental Hotel. So they do have weddings you know, receptions there. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so when the whole makeup thing happened and then, uh, you can see a scene where I ask and I was like, you know, how long do I have? Because I don't even know. And they're like, oh, we should have left an hour ago. So that already shows that I had no clue that I had to leave an hour before, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, okay. I finally leave to go to the wedding, um, to the wedding venue. And I'm thinking it's downstairs. No, we get into a limo and then I'm like, okay, well, we're probably just driving around the block for photos, whatever. No, we drive for an hour. So the wedding was not in Double Bay. The wedding was actually an hour away in Otley or, or like just a Parramatta away. So I'm like, Okay, so you actually book, like, how the hell is this my fault at all? Um, so, yeah, so I have no clue where I'm going to, what time it starts or any of that. So it cannot be my fault at all. So, yeah, so when they do ask me, like, how do you feel guilty? And I'm like, no. and then I was just having, you know, just having a joke because at the end of the day, it's not my fault. So I'm like, I may as well just take the piss I'm thinking it's funny and stuff and I'm like no I'm not I don't feel guilty like it's not my fault and they cut the part it's not my fault out and then I just joke like oh you know he's he um happy wife happy life and then they just made that joke into a really bad thing so <laughs>